Okay, so here we're going to show you the unboxing of the new Gigabyte Ultra Durable 3 P55A-UD7 motherboard. So first off, let's uh, pop the flaps in the back of the box. Open the package up. See, everything comes in a nice box. As you can see, Gigabyte has a very nice plastic clear tray for you to see everything through, which is actually quite nice and elegant. Let's see here. Portals from this side. Just looks like a cake, doesn't it? It's very nice. So here we go again. You can see the inner tray. We'll go ahead and we'll remove this from the box. And there's another compartment underneath here, as you can see. And underneath this compartment carries all of the accessories. So let's go over all the accessories that come with the motherboard first, shall we? I'm just going to go ahead and pull them all out of the box and I'll show them to you one by one so that you know what comes in the box. Bear with me one moment here as I do this. Okay. Start out with, you've got an external bracket for power, eSATA. It also comes with two also regular channel to SATA connectors, which means you can plug this one into your eSATA and your regular power. You also get two of your standard SATA cables, a standard IDE cable, the rear IO, a very important thing. This one goes in the back of your case before you install it. We've also got a very large shield here. This is the new shield for Crossfire. It's very big, very nice. We also have the Gigabyte Ultra Thi. This is the driver CD that carries all the additional software that you may need. We also have a Crossfire. Oh wait, I gotta reverse this. Let me correct myself real quick. This one right back here is actually a three-way SLI bridge and this is the Crossfire bridge. Excuse me, I'm human, sometimes I mess up. Then we have a couple books. We have the, the manual. We have a Smart 6 guide which shows you some of the features of PC power management. And then we've got the Multilingual Installation Guide. Followed up by all that stuff, you get three pretty little stickers. One that says Dolby, or two that say Dolby rather, and one that says Gigabyte. So you get two Dolby stickers and a Gigabyte sticker. That's the contents of the box. Let's move on and take a look at the board itself. The board itself is actually very fully fleshed out. This is actually one of the very first boards that I've ever seen that actually comes with a water block built into the board. So you get a water block, an extended silent pipe heat sink. This right here is the water block. This is excellent for those who want to just go ahead and integrate their system with a water cooling system and cool their system bridge. We'll open it up a little bit more, pull the board itself out. Could be a little tricky as uh, it's kind of stuck in here, but there we go. Ooh, USB 3.0, one of the main features of this board, along with SATA 3. So, here we show you the motherboard. We're going to start out right here, and as you can see, there are a lot of amount of SATA ports on this board, probably more than anybody you'll need. You've also got right here a little meter which tells you how your board is functioning. This is the battery, if you ever need to reset your motherboard or your BIOS, all you do is just pull this out. We'll swing the board around a little bit, show you all the PCI slots for your video, along with two standard PCI slots and one PCI 1X slot. Here is the ZIF socket. Notice that around the bridge, it's got some room. These pins right here may cause some problems when you're sticking on a large heat sinker fan, but we'll have to get to that part when we review the board. Flip the board around again, you see the memory slots. This board takes DDR memory, it does, runs in dual channel, not triple channel, unlike its X58 brother. We'll swing the board around to show you the rear I.O. Very nice rear I.O. As we've shown you before, these ports right here act as two different ports. They act as either powered or unpowered ports. You've also got two LAN ports, you've got eSATA, and you've got as well as six channel audio, you also have SPDIF and coaxial out. Well, that's pretty much that comes in everything in this box. So there we go as we showed you the unopening of the new P55A-UD7 from Gigabyte. Thanks for watching.